Hello. In this demonstration, I will show you how you can create you know, one single line command um, uh, touch based cluster. For this, I will be using Ansible, that is a tool that allows you to deploy, manage uh, systems uh, using simple scripts, and everything is based on SSH. So the only thing that I have installed on my different servers is an SSH server. And I configure my boxes to be able to just log in using my SSH key. So if I do ls root uh, vm1, I am connected to it. If I do ls opt, I don't have so anything. So coach base is not installed. Same and uh, and the other nodes. So I have three nodes, vm2, uh, no s no. Uh, no coach base install. I can also check this way if, um, for example, vm2.81, uh, so nothing is installed. Uh, so just all the cache information. So if I do a web on call, so HTTP server is working as Apache, but coach base is not installed. So <clears throat> let's uh, configure my cluster from the scripting. So I will just go back to my uh, console, do mate. Coach base. So here I have different files, and one of them is the different variables that I will use. So administrator and password. So let's change to password. Change the RAM quota of my cluster to one gig, and rename or create a bucket name that will be called Ansible. One quota will be in this case for this bucket. This and I want two replicas. Saving this, this will be used by the script to create the cluster. I have a host file that contains the different server where I want to deploy that. So if you want to add new nodes, if you want to have more nodes, you will just have to add that here. I organize that in two groups, so the syntax from Ansible, with one is the main, the other will be the nodes. As you know, CoachBase doesn't have any master, but it's just to be to say this one will drive the installation from my script. Which script? It's a coach base YAML uh, that is uh, just uh, the script that Ansible used to say, okay, in this download, um, download the package from the internet if it's not already present on disk, download, uh, install the package libssl, so it's one of the dependencies. The state will say only install it if it's not already present, do the installation on all the machines. Then I do the same, some specific operation to main, like initialize, initialization of the cluster using the different parameters that I have in my old file, some scripts to add <coughs> the nodes to the cluster. If you look in the script, you will loop on all the nodes and execute the server add command from CoachBase uh, client command line interface uh, using the same parameters and use some uh, macros to get uh, the IP address of the nodes uh, when I execute this command. Also, uh, finally, I will execute the script that I've gener generated and rebalance the cluster and create the bucket. So let's launch the command now. So just uh, bin Ansible playbook. Then I use a specific host file that I show you, host file, and I execute the script. Coach base, coach base, but you know, it's done. So nothing to do, no download. Uh, then ah, it looks like I have some dependencies that was not present on VM1. Install um, the package itself. So it will take some time, wait for all the machines to be done. Then uh, configure the main nine, do the rebalance, and it's done. So let's check uh, if my cluster has been created. So it's administrator, I think it's password. Yes, if you look, I have three nodes. If I go to the bucket, I have an Ansible bucket. If I look at the size of this bucket, I have 512 as we define in the installation. So you see how easy it was to install a cluster using uh, Ansible, so a base cluster using Ansible. So very quick, very easy scripting um, technology and with nothing on the server except an SSH server.
Thank you for watching.